Honeywell Quantum Solutions is combining with Cambridge Quantum Computing to form the world's largest quantum computing business. I'm joined now by the chairman and CEO of Honeywell, Darius Adamczyk. Darius, thanks for being on with us this morning. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Exciting day for okay, Honeywell. So yeah, so so you are standing up what is going to be a vertically integrated quantum computing business. It's going to be majority owned by Honeywell. You're going to invest up to $300 million in the standalone business as well. It basically brings together the hardware from Honeywell, the software from CQC. Given the fact that you really just unveiled your quantum aspirations about 18 months ago within the company, why do this? Why do this now? Well, we do this now because we really want to accelerate uh, the quantum technology at a much faster pace. And, and, and today is ex an exceptionally exciting day for all of Honeywell, for all of CQC, and, and hopefully for all potential customers of quantum computing because it unlocks and creates the world's most advanced quantum company, which brings together the best of breed in hardware and best of breed in software. And that's why we're thrilled and uh you know, we think that the reason we came together here is to really advance and move up the technology solutions, the capabilities, what's possible by numerous years by really being two best of breed companies. Yeah, we've been talking about quantum computing for so many years now. We've seen a number of companies make investments in this area as well. IBM, Alphabet, INQ, which I know is, gonna, is going public. Uh, but analysts like Daniel Newman note that it has been a slow, long and slow trajectory so far. So what are you forecasting in terms of broader adoption and applications and thus revenue growth and the path to profitability for this new standalone company? Well, I, the, the, the starting point is that already CQC and Honeywell Quantum Solutions already generate revenue and, and the growth here will be exponential. But, you know, you always have to start from ground zero. And you know, frankly, that's revenue generation is just started. But th this announcement today will revolutionize the quantum industry because it will help to accelerate the growth and the speed of evolution. So, you know, sort of when the PC was brought to the market, it wasn't a you know, billions of dollars enterprise either. So we're kind of still in the first, second inning here. But this combination today, I'm very confident, will substantially acceler accelerate the usability and growth in this industry. You know, and we believe it's going to be a trillion dollar industry within, within a decade. Yeah, trillion with a T. I realize, though, we're in early innings. So is the plan to take this company public? Well, we're still exploring all options. I think it's too early today. Let's, you know, it's kind of one day at a time. You know, we formed this new company, the JV, between ourselves and CQC. We're excited to serve our customers. Um, both companies already serve blue chip customers. You know, we have the leading hardware. CQC has a predominant position in the industry uh, in terms of software. It has software uh, configurable for operating systems for quantum computing, as well as the leading provider for applications developers on quantum computing. So you know, this will dramatically accelerate the pace of technology and development have you on the show. It's Jim. Uh, I love what you're doing. Uh, light, local light parcel. I love what you, muscles of air taxis. These are great. The fact that you're speeding mm. everything up to market. But Jensen Wong, uh, whom we know as being maybe one of the foremost thinkers about all sorts of fast speed, said this last week at his annual shareholders uh, meeting that, about quantum. He goes, the technology is still in its infancy and likely decades away from commercial applications. Is Jensen wrong? Well, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but, but I would strongly disagree with the decade statements. I mean, we have paying customers today who are gathering value from quantum computing. Same with CQC, and now together we're going to have even more customers. When I say customers, the bluest of the blue chip companies out there, some of which have been announced, and whether it's financial solutions, whether it's pharmaceutical research, whether it's cryptography, all of these are applications that are developed today. And already, and I think this is really exciting, CQC has already developed software which is usable for these kinds of applications. Obviously, the capability, the advancement of the hardware will unlock further gains. But I can tell you that even today, Customers are paying and using the, this technology. To say that it's decades away, I, I would strongly disagree with that.
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.